holding this position while you watch, please. Can, you're going to bring your palms up. Now here you imitate the tail of the dragon. You're going to lean to the right and sway your tail to the right. Then you're going to sway forward. And then you're going to sway to the left. You're going to bring your left hand palm down underneath your chin. Now you're going to be coiling your body downwards. You're going to turn your palms over as you go through the middle level. Then you're going to turn your palms over again. The back of the right hand is going to brush the bottom of the knee. This is a figure eight motion. Then you're going to come back and complete the figure eight through the middle level, turning your palms over again, left hand palm down underneath the chin. After you've completed the descending and ascending figure eight, there's a long stretch here where you are flying up into the cosmos. And then your heels are off the ground. You're going to float back down to the ground, back to the original position. This is the entire motion. Before we get to the entire motion, can you bring your palms up like this, please? The basic motion here is called shaking the tail. Can you sway your waist to the right and look to the right? Bring your hands together, sway your waist to the left, and look to the left. Do you see how this creates a gentle S-shaped flexion in the vertebrae? Sway to the right and look to the right. Shake your tail to the left and look to the left. So as we do the descending and ascending spiral motions, we want the spine to move like this. Okay, you need to be very gentle and moderate. I'll talk you through this. Fingertips framing your navel, please, dragons. Bring your palms up. Sway your tail to the right, lean to the right. Sway forward, lean forward. Sway to the left, pick your head top up. Left hand palm down under the chin. Keep your head over your knees, over your feet. Shake your tail left, look left. Bring your hands through the middle level. Shake your tail right, look right. Turn your palms over again. Back of the right hand brushes the top of the knee. This is the bottom of the figure eight. Shake your tail left, look left. Come through the middle level. Shake your tail right, look right. Left hand palm down underneath the chin. Now you're flying up into the cosmos. Take a deep breath in, fingertips slightly behind your head top, lift the heels. Try and keep your heels off the ground for as long as you can, floating down, floating down, floating down, floating down, and then come back to the original position. That was beautifully done. Try it again. Palms up, sway your tail to the right, lean to the right. Sway forward, lean forward. Sway to the left, lean to the left. Palms down underneath your chin. Very good, now we're swimming down to the bottom of the sea. Shake your tail left, look left. Through the middle level, shake your tail right, look right. Turn your palms over yet again. Back of the right hand brushes the knee, keep moving. Sway your tail left, look left, uncoiling the body. Sway your tail right, look right. Left hand palm down underneath the chin. Long stretch up, heels off the ground. Very good. Exhaling, can you keep your heels off the ground? Until the palms come into the original position. Beautiful. One last time, please, dragons. This is lovely. Palms up. Sway your tail to the right, lean to the right. Sway forward, lean forward. Sway to the left, leaning to the left. Pick your head top up. Left hand palm down underneath your chin. Now the descending figure eight. Shake your tail right, look right. Through the middle level, shake your tail left, look left. Turn your palms over yet again, and then brush the knee. Good, now you're uncoiling the body. Shaking the tail left, look left. Shake the tail right, look right. Left hand palm down underneath your chin. Now take a long breath in. Breathing in, breathing in, breathing in. Stretch. And then relax. Exhaling, heels off the ground. Good. The last of our animal play exercises today, frog swimming. <laughs> There's no polite way to say this. Bring your paws up, please. Are your feet together, knees together? You're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna push forward, stick your butt out, <laughs> that's right. Then draw your palms in, heels off the ground. Bend your knees, stick your butt out, push. Inhale, pull in, push.
push out and then pull back in. One more time in this direction. Drop your heels, stick your butt out, stretch your back. Beautiful. Inhale. Up, 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 and reverse. Push out, reach forward, and then pull in. Push out, reach forward, bend your knees, stick your butt out. Inhale. One more time. Push. This is a good stretch for the back. Forward and then pull. Alright, relax down. Put your feet shoulder width apart and parallel. Middle finger touching the outseam of your pant leg, armpit hollow, elbow out. Can you spring your frame lightly standing comfortably? So in the first part of this class we have been exploring the traditional roots of Chinese physical culture exercises. These exercises are found in basically what we would consider cave drawings in certain parts of China that have been preserved over the millennia. The concept of imitating the animals is not just an Asian concept, it's a concept that goes way back into the Paleolithic consciousness of all humankind. By imitating the animal world we can access the spiritual aspects of the animal world. Uh, this is a fundamental, I don't like to use the word primitive uh, because it actually is a very sophisticated use of the imagination. Over the course of millennia, the Chinese have developed a series of motions which access the universal energy and draw the universal energy into the body for a variety of purposes. I'll talk more about these purposes in just a minute when you get to take a break and sit down for a little bit. You all have been very playful playing along. Uh, this is a series of motions called the longevity exercise. Uh, I'll talk more specifically about these motions, but you're following along beautifully, so keep moving. All right. Separate the water. Oh. Tai Chi motions in general are characterized by slow, fluid, circular, and relaxed motions. The motions of Qigong share the same basic uh, procedure, slow, fluid, circular, and relaxed. There are eight motions in this sequence. The first motion is called Two Dragons Go Towards the Sea. Raise your palms facing shoulder high. The second motion called two tigers go into hiding. Draw your palms into your collarbone. Relax your knees. The third motion called soaring up into the sky. Stretch. Let the body rotate. Don't stand stiffly. The next motion scooping up the moon from the sea bottom. Separate the water. Bend your knees. Scoop up the moon. The abbot lifts the bronze urn is the name of this motion. The wild goose lands on the flat sands. Bend your knees deeply. Palms forward. The old monk lifts up the chi with both hands. Chi, the Chinese word for breath energy, intrinsic life force, fundamental energy of the universe. This last motion in Chinese called strangely enough leading away the goat. I do not make these things up. 